And then the last phase of our coordination, as I mentioned, maybe we'll talk about it more. I know we're getting close to the end here, but we can do the FM integration. So by creating all these files in a single environment, uh, we've got standard naming conventions. We've prescribed the level of detail. We know exactly what the content is. We have a content plan. It makes all of the publishing and the integration into your facilities maintenance software much, much more efficient. So um, we just take these Revit models in this example, work with your facilities maintenance supplier and your on-site guys so we can get your building engineers in the coordination meetings. We can be looking at access. Uh, before there's even a hole in the ground, we can be talking about the accessibility to valves, for example. Um, and that, again, comes from this composite approach to coordination. We do that by linking up the room types. So room elements inside the BIM model can then be associated with the pieces of equipment. We can use the instance parameters to input stuff like manufacturer, model number, serial number, and any other O&M information that may be necessary. So uh, instead of the traditional approach where 45 three-ring binders are dropped off at the end of the project um, and no one really ever has the courage to dig through them all, we put that right inside the coordinated BIM model. You can simply click on any element that you need, find out the asset information, what room is it in. Um, anyone relating to facilities maintenance has tremendous control if you need to shut down one area of the building for a little while, you can instantly get a list of all the equipment that's in there, making sure you have your electrical circuits isolated. Um, just way on down the line, uh, facilities maintenance teams love what the solution that we started to come up with here. So this is what the instance parameters look like. So here's some different space types. You've got your storage spaces, your bathroom spaces, uh, retail areas. Again, you want to go shut down this retail area, we can instantly tell you what equipment's in there, what services are feeding that, and what implications shutting that down may have. 